Hello everyone, welcome to Wander Up. My name is the Blue Sock, aka Blue, and I'm here today with my friend Ovik, who will be helping me explain this region's gimmick. But before that, let me remind you all that if this is your first time around, I suggest you watch our previous videos for info on this region. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back! Anyways, gimmicks. We all know them, and sometimes we love them, or we hate them. Regardless of what you feel towards gimmicks, the point is that since Pokemon X and Y, gimmicks have been a staple of Pokemon games. Each region preceding X and Y have had a gimmick, starting with Megas for the previously mentioned, Z Crystals or Z Moves for Sun and Moon, the Dynamax Phenomenon for Sword and Shield, and the latest example, Terracellization in Scarlet and Violet. Our team has decided that to continue said legacy of gimmicks, we would have our own. And that's why this video was made. We're already 8 PWP videos in, and the team and I thought it would be a good idea to start implementing the gimmick now. So now, for a bit more insight into regional gimmicks. The four gimmicks from the four latest games all center on one of the important topics of Pokemon. Megas center on evolution. Z moves on Pokemon moves. Dynamax on, uh, size? And terrestrialization on types. So what else is there to do? Nothing. Yes, I said it. There's practically nothing else to do. But... What if we just reused one of the ideas and gave it our own twist, you know? So our regional gimmick will take some inspiration from... Mega Evolution! <laughs> ah, how I love royalty-free sound effects. Anyways, yeah, we're going to take inspiration from the fan favorite and in my opinion best gimmick, Mega Evolution, debuting in Pokemon X and Y, also known as Generation 6. Mega Evolution is the concept of what a fourth evolution was possible. Of course, adding stronger stats, designs that look like full-on kaijus, and just a really cool idea. As you can probably see, I love Mega Evolution in general, so why not implement something similar into Castella? Our gimmick will be called Star Forms, or Star Forming for the process itself. Basically, it all surges from this one little flower, known as the Star Flower. This little thingamabob came from the deepest confines of space. Or, uh, so I've been told. I actually don't know much about this topic, so I'll let Vic talk about it instead. Uh, hey everyone, Editor Blue here. Vic is a bit sick, so his voice might sound kind of dead. Even though he is sick, he still went through and made the audios for us. So I'm very thankful about that. Anyways, back to the video. Hello everyone. As Blue said, my name is Vic, and I'll be explaining the lore behind these flowers and their origins. Without going too in the depth, as these flowers have a lot of endgame lore. These flowers, as Blue already said, are called star flowers and before the event that brought pokemon into castella they had a purplish hue and were actually harmful to most living beings except the ones who brought them into this planet those alien inhabitants were known as shrooms yep the main antagonist from mario and luigi partner in time were the race that caused the arrival of Pokemon to Castel region. The problem is, with said arrival of Pokemon, so did primal forms of the energy that were in the Megastones. The energy from these primal Megastones infused with the star flowers, purifying them in a process, giving them a bright yellow hue that they have today. But, unfortunately, for the troops who lived in these now Pokemon inhabited planets, the mega energy that now purified star flowers expelled was actually lethal for the troops, causing them to have to evacuate the planet and leave to somewhere else, leaving the world plagued with mega energy and the remnants of space that are star flowers. Now, certain Pokemon grew to adapt around these star flowers, giving them the capability to infuse themselves with the star essence which is the term we will be using for this energy, the star flower expel. Back to the point, 
the star essence can actually be used like mega stones in Pokemon world. Though when raw, only where specific Pokemon can handle its power. Even some Pokemon of the same species can't handle it like other species. For most capable species, the sense has to con concentrate into droplets, giving way to what Captain Toad and the rest of the royal scientists and explorers have deemed essence droplets. These droplets are like capsules that have concentrated star essence inside them. Said droplets help Pokemon star form with ease. But since not all Pokemon are capable of withstanding pure star essence, these Pokemon get, get the essence droplets as a different form of a fuel heals. Then again, that's a bit of a waste considering the power those droplets hold, but eh, we ain't stopping anyone. So, every area and area is the space between gyms. We'll have one singular miniboss. Each miniboss will have a natural occurring specimen of a star form Pokemon, which you have to beat to continue your journey. Each gym leader will also have a star form Pokemon, as there is. So get ready for that. So yeah, that should that should be it for now. Oh, hey Spot, what you got there, little fella? Some sort of a paper, a message. Hmm, let's see here. Oh, is this from Captain Toad, Spot? Well, I'll inform Blue about this later. Now that the main explanation has been finished. I'll let Blue end of the video. Blue! Hey Blue, go up! And come back to the backstage after the video. You need to see something. So, before this video ends, I'd like to thank everyone for all the support that's been shown on YouTube and on our Discord server, which you should join. Links in the description. Thanks to everyone, and if you like this server, or you like this type of content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you'll never miss any of our uploads. Thank you all for watching, and have an amazing day. Goodbye! Hmm. It seems like the gates have opened again.